Hey, and welcome back to Spill the Wine. Today, I wanna to talk to you about how to open a wine bottle on the first try. You saw in my last video, I showed you a time lapse of me actually opening the Witch's Brew wine from Trader Joe's. I will have to tell you though, that video was three minutes long originally. That bottle took me forever to get open and usually it doesn't take that long for me. So it gave me the idea to do a video on how to open wine on the first try. In this video, I'm going to walk you through three different methods on how to open wine. With these methods, there is a 100% guarantee you should be able to open the wine on the first try. To go with the first, you got the screw cap. Open like so. All right, moving on to method two, the cork screw. Well, first we gotta talk about the capsule. And the capsule of the wine is what I initially struggled with at the beginning of just opening the wine bottle. So much so that it almost broke my nail. The capsule is a protective sleeve for the wine and that is meant to keep the cork protected away from the elements. Now the capsule is also used as just another design element when it comes to designing the overall wine bottle. Capsules can be different colors, different textures, some are more smooth matte finish and some are more crumply foil feeling like uh, in a champagne bottle. So one way to cut the capsule is using a foil cutter, which is my personal favorite right here. This specific foil cutter is a little designer one that I was gifted a long time ago. Um, so that's why there's a nice little print, cute print to it. But these are the cutters. So essentially what you would do here, and I'll just use this wine bottle again as an example, you would plop it up like this. You would plop it up over the cap like this, and then you would just turn it, press firmly, and that would shortcut the capsule. And then another way you can cut the capsule is by picking out one of the little parts of this regular quartz screw right here, and that is serrated, and then there you're able just to quickly kind of cut through it. Now, there are several types of cork screws out there that you can use to open a bottle of wine. We got a handful of things going on here. With the cork screw, like I said, there are a variety of different ones you can use. So I'm going to show you some of the ones that I like and the ones that is my favorite. So now a lot of cork screws have the dual functionality of being a bottle opener as well. So this is just a traditional cork screw that I don't use too often, but it always does the trick. This is the metal part where you prick the cork and then you just turn it in. This is the foil cutter, as I was mentioning earlier. And this metal part here is where you're able to apply pressure to the wine bottle so that when the corkscrew is deep enough, you're able to apply pressure and use it as a lever. Now, there are some cheaper corkscrews out there, like this one. I personally don't use that much. Well, first of all, this foil cutter is just massive. It looks more like a weapon. Um, but then the actual metal part of the, corks of the corkscrew isn't that big. So I would not recommend getting one of these. It looks it's too small and usually you might have more difficulty getting this bottle open. And then overall too, what I find with just all metal ones is that you aren't able to get a good grip. And that's something that's really important when it comes to opening a wine bottle. This corkscrew has the grip that I'd like to see. Um, this is an Oxo corkscrew. And this silicone grip right here is really nice and smooth so that if you get a little clammy or sweaty, you'll be able to open a wine bottle just fine. The metal clip here though is a little tricky to get out. As you can see, I'm like struggling and it's a little smaller, but the angle here can help to cut the foil and the capsule a bit better. And then what I like about this corkscrew too is that it kind of pops out and then here's the metal corkscrew. This is pretty easy to use, pretty great. I can link to this in the description. And lastly, my favorite way to open a wine bottle is this corkscrew, but with a twist. And this corkscrew has a stainless steel capsule which I find to be the most effective way to open a wine bottle. This type of wine bottle opener takes me less than two minutes to open a wine bottle. It makes it so, so easy. So what makes it cool is that you're able to easily pop this out and you can see how long that corkscrew is. There's no way that this cork is not coming out with this. And then another neat thing about this is that it comes with a rubber stopper. So in case you wanna put it away after you're done drinking the wine, but you didn't finish it. And then a rubber pour stopper. So you're able to pour it in and then it pours out. So to show you an example of how you would use it, I'll use the same bottle again, but even though it's a screw cap, you can use your imagination. So here you would easily 
put it on like so. And then once you start touching the cork, you would just turn and apply more pressure, more pressure. And eventually the steel capsule will kind of lock in place. And then from that point, you'll be able to turn it to the point where the cork just pops out easily. Once that happens, the cork will kind of get stuck in there. So what you do is basically is you turn it and turn it the other way until you're able to get this back out. And then the cork will still be stuck in there, but then you just kind of poke it out and it's easy and it's done. Now I couldn't find this exact version of this wine bottle opener, but I did find another one online. I'll put that link in the description below. It's a little more expensive, but I hope you can maybe find a cheaper version. The last method on how to open a wine bottle is the electric route. Now, I personally don't own an electric bottle opener, but I did find some online and they have become more popular nowadays, I will admit. They vary in prices. There's an affordable one I found from Costco, say a Rabbit brand, and Rabbit is usually a really great um, well-known brand for wine bottle openers and overall wine gadgets. And it looks like their wine bottle opener is for $29.99. This opener includes its own foil cutter, aerator, pourer. It also has two stoppers and a charging base. And on Wayfair, there's this automatic electric wine opener that's cordless and it's on sale right now for $20.95 and it also includes a foil cutter. A lot of them have sleek designs and they kind of position themselves as the ultimate and easy way to open a wine bottle. I don't know if it's really worth investing that much money into a wine bottle opener, especially an electric, but if ease and convenience is important to you, then that might just be it. For me, this is my number one preferred option on how to open a wine bottle. And now as I'm re-watching this part of the video where I'm opening the wine bottle, there are definitely some things that I could have done differently. Yeah, so in this part of the video, you can see that I was struggling to kind of get that initial capsule off. I will say it wasn't a smooth touch to the capsule. It was kind of more of a sticky feeling to the capsule. Um, not something that I'm used to seeing in other wine bottles. I prefer the more matte feeling because it's easier to cut. Yeah, just the foil overall just wasn't that easy to work with, hence why I had to go back and try to cut it. So now that I finally got it off, now I'm going to use the quartz screw. And as you can see here, I'm just applying pressure so you can get a good grip on the bottle. But sometimes it always just depends on the cork. As you can see there, I'm like popping out because I'm catching the edge of the cork there. So I'm having a little difficulty just even getting a good start. As you can see here, I also try different hand placements on the wine bottle to get a good position. And now I'm gonna try to use the other side of the corkscrew for leverage. But as you can see there, I'm not gonna get that good of leverage on the wine bottle. So I'm gonna keep turning and keep turning until I'm able to get a good enough grip. You can see there, you were using my whole hand at one point to try to get as much leverage as possible, but still not getting much luck there. I constantly turn the corkscrew to try to get a little more leverage, but not gonna lie, this was very difficult for me to open, and that's usually not the case. Here, I'm finally getting some of the cork out using all my might and all my strength, but still very much struggling. Yeah, we're over two minutes at this point. The cork is also falling apart which usually is a sign that it was dry. And then finally here, I can just finally get it out. And as you can see, I'm pretty exhausted by the end of it. And I just slammed both my hands on the counter in relief that the cork got out. All right, hope these steps are useful. If you like this video, consider liking and subscribing for more wine videos, tips, and more. All right, salud.